Hey, this is Toby. Today I want to show you why I don't like to exit my trades with a stop loss and why a stop loss might decrease your strategy performance. Let's go. So first of all, I want to tell you that I always use a stop loss for every trade I do. Whenever I send a trade request to the broker, there's already a stop loss in place. But in this video, I want to tell you why I don't like to exit my trades with a stop loss and why a stop loss might hurt your strategy performance. And also, what is the solution for this? So you still have the ability to set a stop loss to manage your risk while maintaining that great strategy performance. So let's take a look here at the chart for a simple example. So let's just assume that we opened a sell position down here. So let me just draw a red rectangle for our sell entry point here. Of course, this was a bad decision, but at this point in time, it probably made sense. So we are short here for this market. And now let's say our stop loss is set maybe to this level. Now, where do we get out of this trade? So of course we get out here when price crosses the stop loss or hits our stop loss, so right here. Now, if you take a look at this chart here, the recent past, um, we can see that the level we get out is the worst possible price we can get out of this uh, losing trade here. And also if we move the stop loss to this level, for example, we get out here. And again, this is the worst possible price to close this position. Again, if I move, move the stop loss up here, we get out here or here. And again, at this point in time for the recent um, history, this is the worst possible price you can close this losing trade. So I tested over 100 strategies and whenever the number of trades um, closed by a stop loss is too high, the strategy performance is usually not that great because you always get out with a stop loss at the worst possible price to close your losing trade. And when I do coding videos, you guys always ask me to add a trading stop loss to the strategy. And I found adding a trading stop loss in most cases also decreases the strategy performance. And this is exactly for the same reason, because with a trading stop loss, you now not only close your losing positions at the worst price, now you also close your winning positions at a relatively bad price. So let's make a quick example for a strategy with a trading stop loss. So let's say we did not short the market down here, but we decided to take a buy position. And now let's add our trading stop loss, maybe to this level here. As price goes in our direction, of course, we trail the stop loss. As price goes further into our direction, we again trail the stop loss. And at some point, of course, price comes back and we get out of the position when price crosses our stop loss here. So right here. Now, of course, this is a winning trade, right? But if we take a look at the price, this is a relatively bad price to exit this buy position because when our stop loss gets hit, price always went against our position in the recent past. So with a trading stop loss, now you not only close your losing trades at a bad price, now you have the problem that you also close your winning trades at a bad price. And this is why adding a trading stop loss, at least what I have found over testing more than 100 strategies, um, that a trading stop loss in most cases decreases your strategy performance. And this is exactly the reason why. And by the way, for the take profit, this is of course not a problem because if we have a buy position down here, oh, let's change the color again. So this is our buy position entry here and our take profit. Again, here in green is here. Now you exit your trade at the best possible price. You can exit this trade if you take a look at the recent uh, chart history. The take profit is here. Again, you exit your trade at the best possible price. So for the take profit, this is not a problem, but for the stop loss, and especially when you add a trading stop loss to your strategy. Okay, but now let's take a look at the solution and what you can do to solve this problem. So you reduce the number of trades that get stopped out and you have a better strategy performance. So let's say you have, again, your short position open um, right here and our stop loss. Now the first step you can do, of course, is to have a bigger stop loss, right? If your stop loss is up here, then it's much more likely that price hits your take profit before you get stopped out. 
But of course, if price moves against you, you don't want to wait until um, you get out of this losing position all the way up here. So you have a big losing trade, but you want to exit your trade early. And you can do this, for example, with a alternative exit signal. So for example, a simple time exit, where you just set a time and at that time you exit the trade when it's a losing trade, for example. Because with a time exit, um, the time exit is not dependent on price. So you can get lucky, like here, for example, but also, of course, you can be unlucky if you exit the losing trade here. But at least you have the chance to exit your trade at a relatively good price. Right? With a stop loss, you always exit at the worst price. Okay, so another thing you can do, of course, is to reverse your entry signal and use it as an exit signal. So, for example, you open a short position down here because um, the RSI went into the overbought zone. And now, if the RSI um, enters the oversold zone, you would just close this short position maybe here and you would open a buy position. So, this is also called stop and reverse. So that's another option. And also what I like to do, especially for yeah, mean reversion type strategies is to have a so-called soft stop loss. So with a soft stop loss, uh, let me just delete this here. You still have a stop loss in place um, because as I said in the beginning, I always have a stop loss for any position I open. So you have a stop loss here, but you have another soft stop loss maybe right here or here so this is our soft stop loss here and by the way don't google soft stop loss because that's just how i call it i don't know the official name i don't know if this even exists um that's just i just call it soft stop loss for my trading okay so this is basically just a price level we save in our ea so this is not a stop loss on the broker server this is just a price level we save in our ea up here is our official stop loss, um, which is on the broker server. And down here is our soft stop loss. So now when price hits our soft stop loss here, we don't exit the trade immediately. We just recognize, okay, now we need to get out of this position. So now what we can do is for example, um, let me just add a indicator here. For example, we can exit the trade now with a short um, RSI indicator. So a short period of seven, yeah, that's fine. And here you can see at this point, we recognize, okay, we need to get out of this position. And now we take a look at a short term RSI or I don't know, Bollinger Band indicator, whatever you like. And of course you have to test this, but for example, down here, when RSI goes into the oversold region, uh, we would exit this losing trade. And as you can see, we would exit this trade right here. And here, of course, we get another chance right here, for example. So this is still better than exiting, the, than getting out of the trade right here, where you get the worst possible price. Because here with the RSI, of course, price in the recent past goes in favor of your position and then you exit. And now maybe some of you would say, okay, but now here it's already down again. I don't need to exit the trade because maybe it turns around. But as soon as your soft stop loss gets hit, that is a, a indication that your trade idea is no longer valid. So you need to get out. And when you get out here, that's a, a very good exit for this losing trade. So this type of exit of course works best with a mean reversion strategy. Um, because they often run on a very choppy market with a lot of noise. So you have a high probability to exit your trades at a better price level than your soft stop loss. Of course, if you test this on trending markets like the US dollar, Japanese yen or all the other yen pairs, um, or you test this for a trend following system, this might not increase the strategy performance because you just don't get the opportunity to get out of your positions at a better price. But this is of course up to you now to test this for your strategies. Um, if this video was helpful, would be nice if you just leave a like and write me in the comments what is your opinion about this type of exit, about the time exit, about the reversed exit signal. And 
yeah, I think in the future I will do more videos like this where I talk about strategy development because I do a lot of coding videos here on the channel, but I have to say coding is basically the easy part of algorithmic trading. It's just like 20% um, of all the things you have to do to be successful as an algo trader. So I will do more videos for strategy development, like backtesting, um, optimization, over-optimization, all that stuff here on the channel. So if you don't want to miss that, make sure to subscribe. And yeah, I will see you in one of the next videos. Bye.